One and a half minutes for Mrs. Niebler. You have the floor. President, President of the Commission and the Council, dear colleagues, the signal that we will be issuing from the summit tomorrow and the day after it signifies the beginning of the new year. Will we see a group in a di dispute? We are all playing our individual games and at the end we all lose. Or will we see uh, people who stand together and look to the future and decide to fight together. The Commission is fighting for a united Europe, and we in the European Parliament, uh, also by the majority and also the President in office of the Council, I'd like to thank the Commission because they always emphasize what we have in common and they work for a strong Europe. And we hear constructive proposals being for, put forward in, as we face huge challenges. Also, when we look at yesterday, and we talk talking about the border and coast guard. Schengen was mentioned, and it's one of our main achievements. We see people traveling in the Schengen area without any checks. We assume that our borders are safe and that people are registered as they enter the Schengen area. It's true that we see huge pressures on the external borders, that members are asking for help in order to uh, ensure the safety of borders and they need cooperation. But we also talked about the cooperation of a border and coast guard jointly. But put pressure on people, make sure that you're used to the process so that uh, the member states stand together so that we achieve this kind of Europe. Thank you. Mrs. Niebler. Please listen to me. There's a blue card for you. Mr. Corvin Micker. Will you accept Mr. Corvin Micker's blue card? He's over there. Go ahead, sir. In 1933, Liechtenstein refused to join the Third Reich. I understand that if it were a part of the Third Reich, it would have been much more powerful and it would have had more opportunities. Right now, Liechtenstein refused to join the EU. I understand they have difficulties and poverty reigns there. Uh, would you recommend that Liechtenstein joins the EU? Thank you. Dear colleague, at the moment that is not really a relevant question. It's up to Liechtenstein what they want, and we should just be looking to the future. We've had a difficult year in 2015, and we hope uh, for the best, and we have done our utmost in the European par Parliament to cope with the crisis. We're now looking forward so that we can ensure that we can do what the citizens of Europe expect from us, so that we can produce progress in our common Europe, and we can help the people who are in need, who are arrive here.